Hello, this is Alexander Cross, criminal attorney here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about criminal law here in the San Francisco Bay Area, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates. So we received an interesting little question here on our YouTube channel. Accused of a sex crime because of a picture text. So I've still been in contact with my girlfriend who is 16 years old and we send each other text messages and sometimes we send naked pictures of each other. Her parents checked her phone and they found pictures of both of us together naked. Now I'm being accused of uh, illegal sex or sex with a minor. Okay, well, here's, here's a, there's a couple of issues here. Number one, I'd like to know whether or not uh, the person asking this question I'd like to know if this person is also a juvenile because that makes a, a, a pretty big difference. Now, assuming that he is not a juvenile, assuming that he is an adult, I also need to know the age difference between him and the victim because in that case, then there, there wouldn't be two victims. It would just be the, you know, the, the girl would be the, the 16 year old would be the victim. Well, in that circumstance, um, you know, obviously you have the, the two uh, pictures, uh, you know, you have the pictures of them naked together. Um, there's a very high chance that there could be a, a, a charge for violation of Penal Code Section 261.5. If there's less than a three year age difference between the uh, victim and the accused, that uh, is a misdemeanor which carries up to one year in the county jail. But if there's more than three years age difference between the two, that would be a felony under the same code, which carries up to three years of state prison, plus having to register as a sex offender. But the other issue has to do with the possession and distribution of child pornography. Because if you have a picture of a child in a sexual position or whatever, well then now we have a 311.11 felony, carries up to five years state prison, plus having to register as a sex offender for life, all right? The actual pictures and the distribution of the pictures is worse than the actual sex. Sex with a minor, especially if, they're, if there's less than a three-year age difference, misdemeanor, not a horrible thing. Illegal, but not horrible. But you take the same situation, but you took pictures of it and then you sent it, oh God, that's horrific. Not only that, but it's evidence. It's it's, it's evidence because, I mean, they'll just ping your phone. They'll know that it came from your phone. It's your pictures, her picture. I mean, you have no real way to weasel out of it, basically. You're going to get convicted of that. I mean, anybody who tells you that is a damn liar, that, that you're not going to get convicted. You'll get convicted. If the DA files, it's a conviction. It's, that's a slam dunk for the DA. So in a situation like that, it's really going to be necessary to discuss the matter with the DA and say, hey, look, these are a couple of young kids. Uh... You know, they, you know, they're, they're you know, they boyfriend, girlfriend, this is what's consensual. They were sending each other the pictures. You know, let's work this out so that they don't have to register as a sex offender, you know, or he doesn't have to register as a sex offender and destroy his life. But if the guy was an adult and there is a significant age gap, okay, there we have a major, major problem because we can't say well he's an innocent little guy it's like no we've got you got a 40 year old and a 16 year old you got a major problem there and you really got to work things out with the da to see if there's any way that you could avoid a state prison sentence because it's almost guaranteed to get a county jail sentence at the very least for sex with a minor plus you know distributing child pornography it's it's that that's not going to fly all that well regardless if you'd like to learn more about criminal law here in the san francisco bay area be sure to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates. But if you've been accused of having committed a crime and you're looking for representation in court, be sure to contact our office at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. See you there.